Yo, this is Eternal Play, Saiken and Setsu 3. So last time we went to the Mana Holy Land, but we had a new party now. We had a party of Carly and Lise and Angela. Because we witnessed the storyline becoming completely different now than we did with the other team. And Death Jester is our main adversary here. Corrin and Dark Shine Knight are gone. Bijeo and Dragon are gone. And our enemies now are Death Jester and Heat. Yeah, Heat is an enemy now. He's siding with the Death Jester, but he was kidnapped by Death Jester. Is he being brainwashed or something? We have to find out. So they told us, go to the Beast Kingdom to get the fairy back. So in part A, we had to go to Altina. And now we're gonna go to the Beast Kingdom instead. Altina will be closed, but the Beast Kingdom is open. So now we have to go down here, the Beast Kingdom. The Beast Kingdom is open. It will be closed if we were someone else. If we were the runner Angela's party or Lee and Hawk's party, this gate will be closed permanently. But they're not. Let's go. This is gonna be tough, because this enemy crawls with wolves and they hurt. Remember Lugar in uh, outside Moonreading Tower? Yeah, just like Lugar, this one counterattacks. So you don't wanna fight them. Also, uh, the Silver Wolf, despite Wolf Norman being a um, a uh, moon enemy, the Silver Wolf is actually light in a shade, so we want to actually uh, be careful here. Also, the Silver Wolf has a nasty counter. The counter being that the Wolf will actually heal itself every time you, you deal a damage to it or tech. So be careful. See, even that earthquake won't even be enough to take it out. Let's give that little wolf a dark force and I'll show you what happens. See? It counters with a heal. Not only that though, it'll actually heal its friend as well. And it can counter as well with another sick move. Ho <laughs> It just one shot Angela! See? Don't attack these wolves. They are scary. And we beat them still though. <laughs> See? These enemies are so damn painful to deal with. Not allowed to heal or what? There we go. So good to call in this team actually now because the amount of punishment with this weak physical team will leave us to shambles. I'm actually going to try to avoid a lot of these enemies here. They're just too damn strong. Need to heal her as well. I mean, this is just such a painful place to be without the physical team. If I actually had like Duran, Kevin, and Hawk here, where Duran, where Ken was the main character, then maybe we'll have a better chance, but not with this team. We have a gold statue here though, so if you actually want to level a bit there, you can do that, but yeah, I won't really advise it, because this place is rocking with enemies that are really painful. The Silver Wolf themselves are so annoying, they hurt, but they can heal when you counter with moves, so... They really care, be really careful when you do that, so... And here we are! So inside here awaits our enemies that we don't want to talk more about, but we have to. The fair needs to be rescued, so let's go. Ah, hello there. Now, if you be so kind to have under the sword, we will let the fairy go. Heat! Do stand back, little one. It's for your own good. Hey! Stop talking to me like a little kid! I fail to see the point of this frivolous exercise. You're wasting my time. <laughs> the Beast King is not amused about this, apparently. I beg your pardon. Once I attain the sword, you'll see. Now, the sword of the fairy's life. What shall it be? 
Yes, we have no choice. We have to give her the mana sword. Good, good. The sword of mana. What a charming little instrument. Wait, it's getting heavier. Ah, I can't hold on. Take that, you meanie. Only cute innocent people like Carly can hold a sword. But yeah, just like the Dark Shine Knight, he also can do undo these bad things. The sword will adapt. Its spiritual energy will serve the power of darkness. Death is the only true state of perfection. It ends all physical and mental suffering. We seek to bring our perfection to all forms of life. Ah, I say, the sword of mana is becoming customized to my grip. What? We will now commence the third phase. Indeed. <laughs> Once the god beasts are awake, everyone, everything will die. So many spears to feast upon. I can hardly contain my excitement. <laughs> It's been a pleasure doing business with you all. I look forward to your deaths. Ta-ta! I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, fairy. It's all Heat's fault. Heat is a bad man now. Heat... I sense a strong sadness coming from within him. Something must be wrong. Stop it! I don't want to hear anything about Heat. Carly's gonna stop him now. And Carly beat the God Beast herself. Come on, God Beast, let's see what you got. The God Beasts is already begun. I'm going to check on the mana stones. Close your eyes. Yep. Just like in part A, it doesn't matter how fast you are, how good you are, the God Beasts will be released and now we have a huge pain in the ass to deal with not just one pain in the ass seven pains in the ass we have to deal with the god beasts are returning because of the death jester and because of the very man we were supposed to rescue heat I mean, Heat was supposed to be protector of he of Carly, and now Heat is actually wanting to see Carly dead? And he's talked about death as perfection? Has he lost his mind? Don't worry though. If you play with this party, you will understand what is going on with Heat in the end. You'll find out why he's doing this and why he's become an evil guy. We will get to that, of course, because, as I said, I will go through all three storylines when they are split, like now, and then the end. The God Beasts have revived. Each one controls a different element. If they combine their powers, we'll never be able to stop them. We have to stop them now, while they're still vulnerable. Let's hurry to the Mana Stones. Yeah, so this is basically where the split storyline for Carly's and Kevin's team ends. Except, except, if you have Kevin in your team as your main character, there is one extra scene that is actually very emotional. But sadly, I chose Carly as my partner, so we can't really experience that. I'm sorry. So, that's kind of thing you probably have to go through some other people's playthroughs, so let's plays. But yeah, on the roof here, you will see the Beast King. Now, he won't talk to us. But, if you actually have Kevin in your team, there will be a scene between Kevin and the Beast King. You might be wondering, what kind of scene is that going to be? Well, I don't really know, or I do know exactly what's going to happen, but... Um, basically, Kevin wants to take care of the Beast King personally, and the Beast King says that he don't really like, doesn't feel pity for what just happened. But at the same time, he don't really feel anger either. He he understands what Kevin has to go through, and basically, for for the Beast King, it's all about pride, strength, and honor. He don't care about evil or good. He doesn't care about that. It's all about pride, strength, and honor. And he feels like Kevin has besmirched him. But in the scene, we see that Kevin stands out the way Beast King likes. So the Beast King and Kevin is basically uh, burying 
burying the shovel, or I can't remember how it said, burying something at least, so they become friends again, like father and son supposed to be. That happens um, in the scene, and Beast King basically says to Kevin to go and do his duty, but do it with Beast King pride, because he is the son of the Beast King, he wants Kevin to be more uh, ang like angry or big man, of course. So if you have Kevin as your main character, or if you have Carly as your main character and Kevin as second or third character, the scene can be triggered. But only if you have Kevin as character 1, or Carly character 1 and then Kevin as character 2 or 3. If not, the scene will not be triggered. Like, I'd, like now it won't be triggered because Kevin is not here. So yeah, seven problems to deal with. Seven god beasts. So as you can see, there are maps all around here. Seven dots, seven god beasts. Now, I won't be doing the god beasts with this party though. I'll do it with the main party of the Ron, Kevin and Hawk. As I will do the split storylines with this party and storyline with party number C. So this is going to be the end of this video, very short one. But it was just to show you guys what happens if you have someone else in your party as your first character than Ron or, or Angela. Namely, if you have Kevin or Carly, this is what happens in the storyline when you reach the Mana Holy Land, and what happens afterwards when you have to rescue the fairy. So that concludes storyline B. Now the storyline B will be going into the main storyline together with A, and of course with C, and the God Beast must be taken care of before we can take care of our main adversaries. This time our main adversaries is Death Jester and Heath, while the other one was Corn and Darkshine Knight. What made? What does that mean for party C? Though? What do you think can happen there? Well, that's gonna be our next part. Storyline C. If you have any feedback on my let's play, want to discuss this game, then leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.